everyone welcome back to my channel today's video i'll be doing some diy halloween decorations probably more for the kids i will be showing you seven different decorations that i'll be making guiding you through how to make them some of them are quite easy and some of them take a little bit more time because they involve painting so you have to let them dry so it's something you can do over maybe a couple of days so here's a list of everything that you're going to need to make everything that I'm going to make but I will talk through when I make each one what you'll need so if you decide that you want to make that thing you can just look at what you need for that and save you time most of these things are stuff that is just around the house or if you've got young kids you might likely have them in your house anyway some things you might need to buy but they're very very cheap I didn't spend hardly anything on what I needed so they're very cheap to buy if you did need to buy them so if you're new around here and you do enjoy my video please do subscribe I've made Halloween themed videos all this month I'm continuing until the end of the month and then once we get to Christmas there'll be Christmas themed videos so I'm very excited for that if you do enjoy the video please do give it a thumbs up too so let's get into it so there is some things that I need to paint and I'm going to do them first so I can start letting them dry. So the things that I'm going to be painting are the kitchen rolls and paper plates. So we've got four kitchen rolls which we're going to paint black. We've got two paper plates which we're going to paint eyes on too. So I've just got some from last Halloween, some old paper cups and I'm just going to pop the, the paint into that. So I've all got black paint. And then I've got some red paint. Let me just put a little bit in there. On these, we want to draw some eyes. So I've just got a Sharpie for this. So we're gonna just do some eyes first, just so we know, because this is what we're gonna have to cut out after. So let's do This is just a guide, so it doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna cut this out anyway. So that's just a guide. So don't worry if uh, you get it wrong like I just did. And then, so we've got the other one here. Let's do... Okay, so we've got our next one. So we've got our eyes on them, so now we can actually paint these ones. What I want to do with these is we're going to create eyes on this. So again, we just want them to be kind of creepy. So if we do like a circle. So we're going to paint everything around there black. And then we're going to do like... So do that on both. We're going to paint all this around the edges black. So this bit is being painted red. Okay, 
Okay, then we're just gonna set that aside and let that dry. And then we'll do the same again to this one. Okay, so let those dry. So now I've got a bit of cardboard, which I'm going to make the letter B, and I want it to be kind of the same size as the paper plates. So it's got to be quite big. So first we're just gonna Okay, so we have our B. Now we're going to cut this one out. So for the smaller bits, I am going to use the Stanley knife, so an adult needs to do this part. Okay, so now we've cut out our B, we can now paint this one. There we go, so now we're just going to let that one dry. So now we're going to make some tin ghosts. So for this you need some white paper and some white tissue paper and some black card or you could just draw on the face with a black sharpie but I'm going to use black card for this. So I think we'll just first of all measure it because we would not need a whole sheet of this. So you probably could use A4 for each, depending on the size of the tin. So just going to cut that into half. So for the tin, I'm literally just going to wrap it around And then I've got some tape here. I'm just going to tape this part. So it doesn't matter if it's too messy because this is going to be the back anyway. So then we want to see which end is which. So we've got the top there. So I'm just going to make some slits just up until the part of the tin. So then what we can do here, we can now fold these down. So this is now the top and just put some tape on that. And then for the bottom, we're gonna do the same. And then we're going to fold this part inside. Now again, you can tape these parts down. So now I'm going to use my black card and I'm just going to do some eyes. So I've got four tins. So I need to make eight eyes. Okay, then you can cut these ones out. For this, I'm just gonna use some glue. So remember, this is the top and this is going to be the bottom here. So in reverse to what it would normally be. So the bottom is the top, the top is the bottom. So for the top, we're going to put the eyes. So that's one. So just going to now do the same to all of them. Thank you. 
if you if you glue on the face once they're dry what you want to do is put a hole into the top so that it goes all the way through i just did this with a screwdriver and screw and it seemed to work okay but you could use just a nail and hammer and then what you're going to need now is some string so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get a little bit of tape and i'm just going to put it on this end of the string my nails are dirty because of painting <laughs> i'm just going to roll it around just just a little bit just so it's covering it we've now got a bit of a more pointy end so now it will go through nice and easy then you can pull this bit out and we're just going to do a double knot then we have a hanging ghost so depending on how long you want this i'm just gonna leave some quite long for now and then we'll decide the length when we finish so if we want to do this on all four Okay, so once you've done all the strings, you then want some tissue paper. So I've got, um, I got this from B&M, one pound So I'm gonna use white. Mine is quite big, so I'm gonna cut that into strips. So now what we're going to do is turn them upside down and we're going to tape these to the inside. And once you've done it all, you will have something that looks like this. And we will see what these look like after. So do the rest to all of them. So the next one we're going to make a Halloween bunting and so you're going to need orange and black card for this one depending on what size you want what I'm going to do is fold the piece of card in half and then in half again and then I'm just going to cut this now into four so you will need seven black and seven orange so I should have eight so then what we're going to do now depending what style you want I'm going to have mine as triangles so I'm going to just do some letters and then I will cut them out and stick them on. So I want orange letters on the black, black letters on the orange.
so now we have all our letters so what I'm going to do is stick on the orange it doesn't matter which order at this point so we're just going to stick orange letters onto the black and then the black onto the orange just like that <laughs> So what I'm going to do for in the middle is something just to put in the middle of the bunting. So what we're going to do with this piece of paper, we're just going to fold this in half. And we're going to draw half of a bat. Okay, then we're just going to cut this out. So we have something that looks like that. And then when we open it, we have something that looks like that. So this bat is going to go in the middle of the bunting. For the eyes, I'm just going to do some red paint for the eyes. So then we have our bat. Okay, so what we're now gonna do with this, we're gonna get these and I'm just gonna use a ruler, probably take it a good centimeter I would say downwards and then we're just gonna with a bit of with the scissors just do like a faint line so that it bends I'm gonna do that on all of them so what we want to do with the bat we're going to just get a strip of card doesn't matter what color because we're just going to attach it to the back so that the string flows through with this so I would say let's bend it there so we want to create like a little loop so we're just going to attach this to the bat so now we've created this little loopy area for the bat so it can go on the bunting so now we're going to put the bunting together so what we need to do is put all our letters out but we're going to put them upside down so i'm just going to quickly say because it went wrong when you lay down the letters do the letters backwards because I did them forwards and then the bunting came out opposite. <laughs> so as you're laying them down, either go from right to left in the right order or left to right in the wrong order. So if you're going from left to right, you wanna start with the very last letter of the bunting. If you're going from right to left, you wanna start with the very first letter going backwards. I hope that makes sense but if it goes wrong like it did for me it's not a huge deal it literally just take it off and redo it <laughs> okay back to the bunting so as we start with the first letter we just need our string and our tape so leaving just a gap between it so we're going to put our string here i am going to just tape it to the card but then we're going to fold down our card here And tape this area and then we're going to do the same just all the way down
So now we're going to make our witch's legs. Next one I'm going to be using some green card, orange card, I think that's blue or purple, and some yellow. So before we start, we're going to just cut these into strips. If you have kitchen roll, use kitchen roll. I have none left, so I'm using toilet roll. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sellotape these two together. Once they're done, what you will need now is some black card to do some more strips. If you've got any more spare card, so with this bit of card that I used earlier, I'm just going to cut that into half. So with this bit of spare, this bit of card here, what we're going to do here is draw like a, it's going to draw a like a witch's boot. So so we want something like that. So now we're just going to cut this bit out. So we want something to look like that. And then we're just going to measure it. Yeah, I'd say that's just about right. So now this is our template for the rest of them. So we're now just going to quickly paint these two boots. What we're going to do now with these strips, um, I'm going to do a black strip along here. So what I'll do to start with, I'm just going to take a bit here to make sure that that is quite secure on here. And then we're just gonna wrap it all the way around as close to the bottom as possible. And then just tape it there. And then depending on what color themes you're gonna go for, this one I'm gonna do orange. So again, I'm gonna, this is gonna be the back. So I'm gonna start here, tape it there and then just wrap it as close to that next edge. Now, if it goes over like this one does, what I'm gonna do is just cut it a little bit there. And then take that bit there. Okay, so now we have our witch's legs. So these two are the same size and these two are the same size. So that's fine. So these two will go together and these two will go together. So you can obviously choose your own color. I just decided to do it this color. Now we're gonna go back to these, which we painted earlier. So you just wanna cut this out and this is just a bit of cardboard. So what I'm gonna do is put this into the bottom, like so, and it's quite secure, it shouldn't move. I'm gonna do that on all of them. Okay, so we now have our witch's legs. So what you do now to put these into the ground. So I have the stick and I got it from Hobbycraft at £1.65. So what I'm gonna do is, it's quite long, I'm gonna cut this into four pieces and then we're gonna attach these to the boots. Okay, so I've now cut up my sticks. So now what we need to do, we want to stick these into the back here 
so that we can either put these in the ground outside or maybe you have a plant you want to put these into so depending how much I'm probably going to leave about that much of a gap Okay, so that's our witch's boots complete and we will see what they look like after. So next we're going to make our boo sign so we have our B that we painted and we have our two paper plates that we painted and these are the eyes so what I'm going to do for the middle bit here so I'm going to get a bit of yellow tissue paper I'm just going to cut a little bit off so what I'm going to do I'm just going to scrunch up fit that in the middle So now the eyes are finished, what we're going to do now is we're going to use a hole punch or you could just do a hole however you, if you don't have a hole punch. And then I'm going to put a hole at the top of the B like that and then I'm going to do the same at the bottom. So we have two holes then I'm going to do the same with the paper plates. This is the top. So we're going to do a hole there so now we have our holes we're going to use our string again so what we want is our string to start at the top of the bee and pop it through so that it goes down to the back and then we want to bring it through the bottom and then we want one of the eyes and we're going to pop it through the top area bring it through to the bottom and then put it through here and then the same again on the last eye so then you want it all to be connected through this string so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just tape the string to the back Okay, so I'm now going to make some eyes, nose and a mouth. I'm just going to use some more black card. The first thing I'm going to do is draw the eyes. So we want them quite big. Okay, so these are going to be the eyes. So I'm just going to do like quite a big one and then a small one have our nose like that for the mouth because we want a, quite a big bit for the middle so I'm just going to first of all do like a template like this Now we're going to cut this bit out. I'm 
So we want to kind of go up from here. So we want it to match up like this and then we want to do the same on the other side. So you want to end up with something that, unless you have a big piece of paper and you can do it all, it's just something to attach to make the mouth a bit bigger. So we're going to have something that looks not so close together but like this on the door. Okay, now we're gonna make some bats. So just need black card for this and that's it. So we're gonna fold the black card in half and then we're gonna fold it. We're gonna just cut that one up in half and then we're gonna fold this in half again. We're just going to draw half of a bat. So we now have our bat. I'm gonna make a few of these. So I'm gonna make them all different sizes. So I've done four bats. are going to make some pumpkins with some tissue paper to put on the windows. So I'm going to divide this into three sections. So now what we're going to do, depending on how you want your pumpkin, we're now going to fold this one into half and then we're going to just draw the outline of a pumpkin just faintly. Oh, this looks a bit like a pumpkin so for the eyes I'm just going to now just draw some faint eyes of what I want so this is more of a happy pumpkin and then we're just going to slit that bit there and then we can cut out the eyes so I'm gonna make a few more of these So I've done a few different design ones, but these are now going to go in the window. So the next one we're going to make is some monster eyes. So we're going to bring back these that we painted. And for this, I recommend an adult cutting out because I'm going to use just a knife to cut these through. So now these are all dry, we're going to cut out the eyes. So what I'm now going to do, I'm just going to do a bit of touch up paint on the eyes. This 
this is where the glow sticks come into it. Use these glow sticks to put inside here. And we're just gonna tape them in and, and then we're gonna put them in some dark places. So I believe we just bend these. There we go, we have our creepy eyes. So let's go put these up. So I've turned the lights off and I just want to show you how cool these these eyes are. They, they actually look like, it's not even picking up that well. They look really creepy, which looks, look at that, they're so cool, so creepy. So this is really good for Halloween, if you're having a Halloween party. So I hope you enjoyed the video, I really enjoyed it, I love making things, so I had so much fun. I hope you found it useful and if you do make anything from my videos, so I got all my kind of inspiration just on Google. So I haven't watched any videos on how to make them. I just looked at a picture and went with what I thought was right. <laughs> and I think most of them turned out okay. So if you do make any of these, please do send me them because I would love to see them and they most likely be better. <laughs> I'm not a pro at this, but I do enjoy to do it. So if I enjoy it, I'm going to do it. <laughs> so thank you so, so much for watching. Please leave a thumbs up if you did enjoy and I will see you in another video. 